Silence. That's the most striking thing about this place. No signs or descriptions, no writings or epithets, just these massive stones that commemorate the murder of six million Jews. Yes, that's tragic and insane. Six million Jews. What bothers me more as a Christian pastor is that the Christians of Germany were mostly silent. Silent, like these massive concrete blocks. In 1933, Germany had about 60 million people, and almost all of them claimed to be Christians. 20 million Catholics and 40 million Protestants. Yeah, I know, like America, maybe less than half were really Christians, but still. Okay, maybe in the beginning, they didn't know for sure because of the government lies in the media. But by 1941, it was obvious to everyone that the Nazis were killing Jews. And what did the real Christians do? I'm not talking about the nominal Christians, but the real Christians. Did they protest in the streets? Did they put up some resistance? No, they were silent. Yeah, I know. There are many stories of Christians hiding and helping the Jews. And many pastors spoke out against the Nazi regime, including 700 pastors who were arrested for protesting, including one of my heroes, Pastor Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who was executed for trying to overthrow Hitler. I don't want to oversimplify what resistance was possible inside a dictatorship regime. Yeah, I know. I wasn't there. I don't know how scary the Nazis were. But persecution is part of our Christian heritage. Even our Lord was crucified on the cross. And I know that most Germans didn't hate the Jews, but when Jewish businesses got confiscated and you get to take over at a discount, are you going to complain? So most people were silent out of fear or out of greed. When I say many Christians spoke up and helped the Jews, I'm talking about hundreds. But those who were silent were millions. And that's what made the Holocaust possible. If we don't speak up against injustice, we only have ourselves to blame when our nation turns its back against God. And the next generation is ignorant of biblical principles. As Christians, we have to defend the helpless and stand up for what's right. If a Muslim is being treated unfairly, stand up for him. If a gang of teenagers are beating up on a transgender, protect him. What are they teaching in our public schools regarding sex, gender, and race? Do we say, oh well, that's the world? Or do we speak up when we see something wrong? Do we hold our politicians accountable for their actions? When you see the genocide of millions of young people, aka abortion, are you going to be silent? Unless you live in a communist country, you're not going to end up in a concentration camp for speaking out against the government. And your persecution won't be as bad as what the Jews went through. I will not be silent. So speak up and stand up for what's right. This is Pastor Jason signing off from the Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe.